looking for a cheap, fast breakfast downtown. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Dave Eats London. Well, it's Sunday, and we just finished shooting the episode of the new show, Big and Skinny. So we're looking for a cheap place to have breakfast. We found a couple places online that are downtown, and we're going to go check one out. It's kind of in a sketchy part of town, but let's see how this turns out. All right, so we're on King Street. We're in between Richmond and Clarence. This is the uh, King's Hotel. I think it used to be the Park Hotel. It's kind of in a rough little old neighborhood down here, but let's have a look at this place and see if it's worth going to. Okay, as we go in, we can see today's super special, Western Omelette with Cheese or Monte Cristo, 10 bucks all in. There's a couple more specials. The prices look pretty good. Soup and sandwich for 5 bucks. You can't beat that. Homemade soup for $2.95. Well, this price cheap. is as good as their prices. It'll be all right. Price. Okay, it's not very busy in here. We're going to go find a seat and we'll have a look at the menu. So here's the menu. The prices actually look pretty good. Uh, they're not bad at all, but we're going to have a look. We're probably going to order maybe those specials you saw outside. And, uh, now this place is its a little different than this King's Inn. It used to be a hotel downtown. It's more or less a student residence now for Fanshawe students that use the downtown campus. Uh, so it's, you know, it's cheap food. But we'll get something ordered up here. Then we'll have a look around the restaurant. Maybe we'll get Lucinda to do a restaurant review if we can. And we'll see what happens with this place. Thank you. Yep. The color scheme in this place, a green, red, and yellow. I don't know, it kind of looks like a big flag, maybe Cameroon? I'm not sure, but it is odd with the ceiling painted green. I will say that. All right, so we've got breakfast ordered. Lucinda's on her way to the restroom. We'll be right back with the restroom review, but let's have a look around this place. Well, that's quality maple syrup. There isn't a, well, I guess it's not really maple syrup. It's maple syrup. Now, I just happened to look down on the floor here, and it's not the cleanest place in my mind. Uh, it's, it's a little worse for wear at this place. Um, they, you know, it's, it's, as I say, it is what it is. It's a cheap restaurant. There's, uh, you know, there's some jam in there, but I searched to the bottom of the pile, and look what I found here. That one looks like it's been sitting there for a couple of years, doesn't it? I don't think I'm going to eat that one. Well, Lucinda's back, and let's have a look at her restroom review. And now it's time for Lucinda's Restroom Review. Well, it's time for Lucinda's Restroom Review. This place is dark. It's a cave in here, as you can see. There's the key they gave me to get in here. The bathroom is actually off the restaurant premises. Thank goodness there's a security guard you go by. Otherwise, I don't think you would find the place. We got one ginormous stall and one itty bitty one. Not the cleanest in the world, but the lighting sure does suck. All right, Lucinda's doing a restroom review, so but her breakfast came, so I thought we'd take a picture of it. It's Monte Cristo, Ash Browns, sausage. I think that may be melon, odd color. came as well. Western omelet, cheese, home fries, toast, and the odd white colored melon again. 
So, EWO, are you missing any dishware? Alright, Luxon is back from doing a review. She's going to eat into her Monte Cristo here. You're okay for coffee over here and stuff? Great. Good, thank, thank you. you. She can eat it with a knife and fork. Yeah. That's a little odd, isn't it? Well, they brought some syrup, so I thought I'd eat it with a knife and fork, see how it tastes, and maybe I'll put some syrup on it. Oh, there you go. How was it? Cheese in there and the ham, but I think um, I will try it with some syrup on it. All right, Lucinda's put some syrup on it. She's gonna try it with some syrup. Is it? Mm-hmm. Well, that's some quality syrup there, too. <laughs> it's the maple. <laughs> maple flavored. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try them. I'm going to try these home fries, and I'm going to try them without putting any ketchup on it. This is for Skinny Perry, who gives me crap every time he sees me put something right into ketchup without trying it first. Tastes like fried potatoes done in the deep fryer. I've had better, but I've definitely had worse. We'll talk about uteruses. Now let's try the omelet here. It's a western omelet with cheese. So, yeah. Just a regular omelet. It's nothing like the one that we had out of Catana a week ago, which uh, was really a stuffed omelet. But Try this one out. It tastes like eggs and cheese. It just tastes like an omelet. Nothing special. Not terrible. Not great. What kind of melon do you believe that is? Honeydew. Honeydew. Is it always white? Uh, yeah, it's a light fleshed melon. Excellent. Well, We'll try some of that later. We'll finish up. I'll show you the bill. I think this place is going to be a good value. We'll give her our uh, conclusion afterwards. Now we're back. I'm sorry we had to cut that video a little short, but we're back here from the King's Inn Diner. First off, TripAdvisor. I'm not going to go through TripAdvisor or the Middlesex County Health Unit here. Uh, I had a quick trip to make back from here. I want to say thanks to Imodium. Things are starting to feel a little better. But that breakfast seemed to come out of me as quick as it went into me. And for my part, I wouldn't recommend the place. Now, I want to say the staff was great. Everyone was very friendly, wonderful. The place was a little run down, but that doesn't bother me. Now, I can't blame my stomach issues on the restaurant, but it just seemed to be coincidental. So, for my part, I hope you enjoyed the video, but I probably won't be going back to the King's Inn Diner. Now, make sure you check out our new show. BS or Big and Skinny. We've spent a lot of work on it. We enjoy doing it and we hope you like it as much as we do. Check it out. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and if you've been to this place, leave a comment below and let us know what your experience was like. And I'm Dave and this has been Dave Eats London.